up, guys? We are back with another Hawk Talk. I'm Jack Kanar. And I'm Theo Garcia. And we are back with another Hawk Talk. We had a really good one last week, so hopefully this one's just as good. Hoping it to match it this week. And for our first segment, we'll be going over the weather. Greatest show. Going to the weather. What's up, Hawks? It's Blake Prez back on the weather segment. Monday and Tuesday, we have a high of 59. Wednesday, we have a high of 65. Thursday, a high of 67. And Friday, a high of 69. Make sure you guys are dressing for this colder weather. And thanks for watching the weather. Back to you guys. Well, thank you for the weather. Uh, for our next segment, I think we're going over sports. Yep, it's going to be staying a lot cold next week. What goes along with cold is our winter sports. So mm -hmm. we're going to be flipping to the next page, and we're going to see how these sports are looking. Thank you, guys. This is Ivan Rao, who live on the scene, interviewing Mr. Nolte about upcoming sports events. Yeah, so the fall season's wrapping up. Cross country still still uh, competing, um, but the winter sports are fired up. We got a we got a girls soccer scrimmage coming up and um, boys and girls basketball today. Uh, excuse me, boys basketball today at Minaret's scrimmage. Um, yeah, everything's getting fired up for the winter time, wrestling, basketball, and soccer. Back to you guys. As the fall season ends and with that, so do the fall sports. Football, volleyball, girls, golf, and tennis, and cross country. Moving on to winter sports with boys and girls soccer, boys and girls basketball, and wrestling. Good job, fall sport players, and good luck, winter sport players. Go Hawks! Well, weather is looking a little bit chilly. Winter is finally here. Actually, no, it's not. It's still fall. But you know Almost what comes there. with winter? What? Winter sports. Winter sports. You know what those winter sports are? I don't. What are the winter sports? Uh, basketball, mm. soccer, wrestling, and that's it. I feel like there's more. There's, no. Is there, there's not. There's that's three. all. We've got some exciting sports coming up. Weather's going to be staying cold. And now we're going to go into our next one, our bulletin and clubs. So we're going to go to that segment now. Hmm. All right, so next week is kind of an exciting week. We've got our Hawk Wars week, of course, which is a big um, class versus class competition week with a rally happening on Friday. We're also gonna have a food fair on Friday. Um, on top of that, it's our career week. So we'll have um, colleges and military here that you can explore on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're gonna have some presentations and then a career fair. At lunchtime, we're also going to have some special lunches with professionals happening on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, kind of the last big feature is we've got our dress-up days that are going to be happening too. So Monday is Jersey Day, and then Tuesday is Dress as Your Type. Wednesday is going to be our frat day, and then Thursday is Icon Day with wrapping up our week on Friday where it's uh, wear your class color. So make sure that you support your class and wear your color on Friday. So now, got a lot of great teachers around campus. Yeah, an amazing staff. But there's only one that is going to get chosen for Teacher of the Week. Mm. Sorry, drum roll. Actually, we don't know, so we're going to flip to a segment. I'm Mr. Olson. I teach chemistry and AP environmental science. My favorite subject in high school was history, not because so much of the topic, but because of Mr. Tom Deal uh, cared about his students and it came through in his teaching. So I loved that class. Hey Hawks, today I'm here with Alana Peru and she's going to be telling us about her series, The Gash. Well, writing books is really interesting because I became a writer in fourth grade and I self-published my first novel in sixth grade. And since then, throughout middle school and high school, I've continued to write um, novels, all part of the same series. And it's really fun because you get to develop characters. And as you grow as a person and get more experience, your writing starts to develop and grow and change. And it reflects in your writing style and like what words you use or how the characters act. And uh, my favorite part is leaving like plot points 
kind of open at the end of books so, so that in the next books they can be picked up on and expanded on. Okay. Well, that sounds really cool. You should go check out her book on Amazon and Barnes and Noble website. Thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. Have an amazing week, Hawks. Congratulations. Keep the hard work and maybe other teachers out there, you could be the next one. Have you ever looked at someone and thought, wow, this really looks like that person? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to look at some celebrity lookalikes. Stay tuned, check your emails to see if anything new is happening. And on to our mission statement, brought to you by Jack Kanar. Uh, Liberty High School is to ensure a rigorous education that prepares all students for post-graduation goals. So that's the end of our Hawk Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now we're going to salute our flag. Stand up. <clears throat> Ready, salute.